South African LGBTI members. How Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. How do you do? I'm good. How are studies? Fine, thank you. It's good to catch up with you after a while. Yeah. You're looking good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So, when did you start uh, physical? Have you started uh, physical lectures? No, I just came to the library to. Oh, to access some. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Anyway, Opa, we have not intruded on your no, 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 studies. No, 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 it's okay. You have few yeah, have minutes for us to chat? Yeah, of course. All right then. Uh, well, let's walk up and uh, uh, see where we can sit down. Sit down, down okay. Yeah. Are you keeping well? Yes, I'm fine. Oh, it's good to see you, man. It's good to see you too. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Are we good here? Uh, yes. Yeah, let's sit down. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone, once again. Um, we are at the premises of uh, Beck Beck University of London, catching up with one of our own. Um, I will allow him to introduce himself. Please, introduce yourself to my viewers. Yeah, good day, everyone. I am Olamitoye Olatilewa from Nigeria. I live in Lagos, um, presently in the United Kingdom, studying at the University of Beckbeck, studying life science with subject I like to medicine. It's a pleasure having you on this channel. What is your story? I'm a gay man from Nigeria, and it's difficult living as a gay in Nigeria because once you are tagged with that sexuality, somebody, some people see you as a devil, some see you as an animal. There are a lot of adjectives to qualify you. Apart from that, if there are only those adjectives, it's good, but they will be targeting your life. I would like to call you your full Yoruba name, yeah, being yeah. a Yoruba man myself. Okay. So, my viewers will be interested in how you find yourself in London, United Kingdom. Yeah, thank you so much, Larry. Because of my sexuality, it's difficult for me to belong to the Nigerian society because you have been tagged not fit for the society. So, at a point, it was giving me a lot of problem. I can't openly have a partner, so it's difficult. You don't even know who you're going to talk to that will escalate you and point you out to the society. So it was a difficult situation for me that I just can't fit up in that environment. When I became exposed about my sexuality and it became a common knowledge in the community, in the church, I have nowhere to go. I just had to flee the country. I initially, I was trying to hide my sexuality from anyone, but at a point it was difficult to, to hide who I am. And it gradually becomes in a public knowledge. Really? From some members of my family. So I don't have any choice than to flee the country. So now you are in the United Kingdom. How have you been living your life compared to what you were in Nigeria? Well, in the, in the United Kingdom, I'm free to be who I am. And I've been enjoying my freedom since I came into the United Kingdom. Okay. No harassment, no hassle. And I'm really grateful for the country for that. Mm. Being an openly Open, gay, gay man. man. Yeah. All right. Um, here we are in the um, Bebek. Be Bebek University. Bebek, we call it. It's so tongue twisted. Yeah. Bebek University of London. Uh, viewers all over the world might be interested in finding how to go in. How did you find yourself in this campus? In Out and Proud, we used, they used to organize uh, seminars regularly. I've uh, attended some seminars on HIV awareness, post-trait cancer. And um, so uh, there was this uh, seminar 
uh, about uh, education from the Compass Project. Okay, so, I remember that. So I attended and we were told that uh, we could actually go into education. Mm -hmm. So I connected the contact person and she gave me the guidelines that I should apply. Right. Initially, I thought because the fee is so high, I thought I couldn't be able to afford it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I applied and here I am, the Compass Project gave me a scholarship. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank we you so much. For you. <laughs> yeah. So here I am now going on with the study. <laughs> Great. Well, that's a good one. So in spite of the fact that um, some immigrants are asylum seekers, refugees, they can definitely benefit from the education yes, system. Yes, that was what they told me. That um, that was why I was really actually interested that uh, asylum seekers can apply. During the lockdown, I know you were a part of, uh, you are still part of those volunteering to, who volunteered yeah. to help during the pandemic. So tell yeah. us about it. How did you how did you navigate through that period? Uh, well, uh, it was difficult, but being passionate about uh, volunteering, so that was why I just had to come out and try to help and deliver uh, food stuff to um, vulnerable members. Oh, that's really good. And I really appreciate Out and Proud for giving me that platform. In the school, we were not uh, allowed a face-to-face -face, uh, contact, so we had to go on online studies. Okay. So, most of the time... Wow, thank you. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Are you keeping well? Yeah. And you are staying safe as well? Yeah. Well, yeah. uh... Stay home now. Oh. oh, okay. Please be safe. Thank you. All right. Yeah. What's your message for the uh, Out and Proud? Um, I'm just so grateful. Oh. And uh, thank you for the good work that you're doing. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Stay Have a nice time. Bye. 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 And we do online studies. All right. So that's re that really gives you the time yeah, and opportunity it, to carry on the volunteering it, it, yeah. job. Yeah. Well done, you. It, it, it was really nice. It was a nice experience. Yeah. Um, sharing same platform with you volunteers yeah. that period Thank because you. some were really isolating yeah. at home and they couldn't uh, access all these food items yeah. for you and others we say well done Thank you so and much. keep up the good work Thank you. Um, a few weeks ago um, we run an interview with some Nigerians and um, we talked about a televangelist that was that had his uh, YouTube channel uh, yanked down, so to put. It was suspended because um, there was this allegation that he was cleansing some lesbians. He wants to cast out the demon in them from being de uh, who they were. You understand? Yeah. Unfortunately, because um, no one is ever happy if anyone dies. Yeah. This televangelist died over the week. What's is your opinion about uh, this uh, cleansing and what do you have to say about uh, Reverend Pastor T.B. Joshua? May so rest in peace. Uh, well, what I see in this is that um, most of those things are, are stage managed. Okay. And sexuality is sexuality. It's, you can't say you want to cleanse somebody or change somebody's sexuality. I don't think it's possible. So if he comes and say he wants to change somebody's sexuality by laying hands or by praying, I think they are all false and they are being stage managed. Mm. So I really don't believe in what they are doing. Even in the United Kingdom, uh, the government is looking at the conversion therapy that they're doing, which is similar to the what you yeah, said is fake and stage-managed yeah. uh, cleansing they're doing in Africa. It kills you psychologically. 
because it's like you are left-handed and they are forcing you to use your right hand. You have problems along the line. No matter how you learn it, you still fall back to your natural left hand. Le yeah. Myself, I've tried and I fought for years trying to sus suppress my sexuality, trying to change. I've prayed, I've fasted, I've met with pastors to pray, but I just found out that I couldn't. Because you are, you, you are who you I are. I am who I am. Why would somebody come and tell me today that they were going to do it for me, that I can, you will just lay hands on me and I'll change from who I am. It's not possible. So all those people saying they are doing it, I don't believe them. And even this uh, pastor Past in question? I don't, I don't believe he can do that. Hmm. And uh, I'm so sorry in Africa today, people still believe such things. And the same pastor is dead, and some of his uh, followers... followers still believe that he's not dead. They say he died of cancer, and uh, the followers said, no, he can't die, die of cancer because the pastor cures cancer. Hmm. So you see, so why would they not believe anything? I don't understand the African mentality. Uh, the society is still the, backward. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Olati Ulewa, for sharing that part with us. Thank you so the much. The kind of uh, struggle you went through yeah. uh, way back, trying to change yourself from who you are. And because God has created you to be who you are, you are who you are. So it's, all, it's well, impossible, it's possible, yeah. for anybody to lay hands and, on anybody to yeah. change their sexuality. Yeah. The conversion therapy here, they are just sub subjecting people to psychological pain, psychological yeah. trauma, yeah. you know, and hopefully uh, the government of the United Kingdom is looking at it. We do hope they will get to the root of it and, and save everyone, all these hassles. Yes, anyway. I believe so. Before I let you go, Alatilewa, yeah. I can see you are putting on a We Exist t-shirt. Yeah. I can see no African liberation without LGBTI liberation. Yeah. What does We Exist mean to you? Well, thank you so much, Larry. We Exist mean to me that I can be a Nigerian and be gay. I can be black and be gay. I can be a student and be gay. This is real me, my true me. Okay. You can see even in our university, we have uh, the rainbow uh, flag. flag. Oh yeah. Here. Oh, celebrating the Pride Month. Yeah. That's really good. So, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of anybody. I'm a member of the uh, Bebek University uh, LGBTI cool. community. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Well done, you. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming on to our program. Thank you so much. We do hope, um, we wish you the very best in your studies. Thank you. Uh, it's an opportunity uh, for us to know that you can better yourself, no yeah. matter who you are yeah. in the United Kingdom. You are a Yoruba man. Yes, I am. I want you to say a word or two. Please look at the camera. The struggles the LGBT community is going through in Nigeria, in Africa, and Nigeria in particular. Please look at the camera and pass a message to the LGBT community in Nigeria. I want you to say it in your local language. Olatinewa, the camera is yours. Yeah. Fun a yete gba mi lati so awon oro yi ah awon members LGBTI to wa ni Nigeria gbogbo irora yin ni amo ti a de n gbadura ipe lai pe awon ijoba wa won ma fi yin sile lorun 
awon to wa la gbegbe wa won ma fi yin sile lorun ke le gbe igbe aye yin bo ti to ati bo ti ye yeah. thank you hopefully we are going to see you again thank you thank you my viewers we've been chatting and hanging out with Ola Tilewa he's a gay man from Nigeria and he's a student of Bebek University of London keep watching keep commenting share this video and subscribe to Art of Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel switch on the notification button so as to receive more interesting video inspiring videos from us thank you very much have a wonderful evening thank you